Assalamu alaikum everyone. So today we'll be discussing about geometry for NVS. Uh, before we start, I just want to let you know that uh, I'm actually offering an online preparation course for NIT4 for social sciences and pre-medical for CS. So if anyone wants to join, you can let me know. Okay, let us begin. Uh, the thing is that I'll not be starting from the basics. I'll just be focusing on the very main concepts of it. It will be exactly the same thing. Okay. First type ki jo variety hati, you will be asked like, for example, uh, the length is three times the width. So, you know, three times the width. Length is three times the width and area is area is like, for example, let's say 96, okay? 96 up area di diya hoga. It is for rectangle, obviously, if length and width are given in general. So, you know, you'll be asked to find the perimeter. Perimeter. Okay, so let the width be W, okay? Let the width be W. So, length is three times of width. So, L would be equal to three times of W, okay? Because it is of three times. So, now we know that area is equal to length multiplied width, but here length is 3W and width is W. So, 3 multiplied 3W, so sorry, W multiplied 3W is equal to the area, which is 96, which is 96. So, you get 3W square is equal to 96. You get W square is equal to 32 and you get W is equal to uh, you get uh, W is equal to square root of 32. I'll repeat it for you. You are given that the length is three times the width. So if it is W, the length would be 3W, okay? And the area is given to you, uh, given you to be 96, okay? So we know that length multiply width is actually uh, the area. So we put in the values, we get 3W square is equal to 96, we get W square is equal to 32, and we get W is equal to square root of 32, okay? So if W is 32, then the length would be three times the uh, W uh, length would be 3w, which is 3 times the root of 32, okay? So now we know that parameter is equal to 2 into L plus B. And you can put in the values, you'll get your answer, okay? This is the first variety of questions. Second variety of question is based on the concept that the diagonal is actually the hypotenuse of a square. The hypotenuse of the right angle triangle form. For example, you're given a square, okay? The side lengths are x, okay? Assume the side lengths to be x. Assume the diagonal length to be d, okay? So if this is x, this must also be x. You see a 90 degree angle, this is a rough sketch, obviously. So you can use the Pythagoras formula, d square is equal to x square plus x square, okay? So you get d square is equal to 2x square. You notice that if I multiply x with x for a square, I get x square, which is the area of the square. Now you notice that d square is equal to two times of the area. Two times x square is the area. So whenever you are asked about what is the value of d square in a square, if, the, if d represents the diagonal, if D represents the diagonal. What is D square? What is D square? <coughs> what is D square? So you'll be given this option. You go for it. Or you'll be given uh, that it is two times of area. So that will be your correct answer. Okay. Okay. So the thing is like this is a special case actually. length and width are equal. For example, if you are given a rectangle, okay, let's assume it to be a rectangle. And this is its okay. A very pathetic diagram. I'll make another one. For example, if you are given a rectangle, okay. And this is its diagonal. Obviously, it will be x, it will be y because both are different. Uh, triangle, may, uh, sorry, rectangle, may different. Then let's assume it to be d. Again, we can use the Pythagoras formula d square is equal to x square plus y square. So if you are given either of the value, for example, they give you the diagonal itna or uh, width itna, find the length. So you know, length of find kar lege, uh, then you can find the area or the perimeter of this rectangle. Okay. Acha. This, these, this is very important variety, but jo sabse important hai, this is coming next. For example, if I tell you now, uh, this is actually based on the concept of your shaded regions. I will give you an example of this. For example, if I tell you, this is a square, okay? It will be a rough diagram, okay? This is a square. And inside the square, I'm inscribing a circle, okay? I'm inscribing a circle. The length of the square is 12, okay? And you will be asked to find this shaded region, okay? <coughs> this shaded region. So actually the thing is like the shaded region will be obtained by subtracting the area of the inner circle. Matlab jo bada hota hai na usse wo chote wale ka area minus karo. Yahan pe bada kaun sa hai? Bada square hai kyunki square bahar hai. Uske andar circle ko rakhe. So area of the uh, square would be 12 square, okay? Minus area of the circle abhi hame malum karna hai. Ye to sara mudda hai is question mein. So basically if you notice these this side and this side, these two sides are parallel. If this is 12, this must also be 12. Now, if you notice, this is passing through the center of the square, which is which also happens to be the center of the circle. Now, it makes the diameter of the circle. So, D is equal to 12. So, the radius would be 6. 
the area would be 36 pi pi r square okay 36 pi so now you know okay 12 square is uh, okay, okay, the area of the square the area of the circle is 36 pi so 12 square minus 36 pi is your answer you can simplify it to be 144 minus 36 pi you can take 30 uh okay, okay, the 36 common so 36 into uh, 4 minus pi is also your answer okay 36 minus 4 pi is also uh, 36 into 4 minus pi is also your answer uh consequently what could be another question it could be the reverse of it for example uh, this will be a very rough diagram because I can never draw it properly. For example, this is a uh, circle and there is a square inscribed inside it. Okay, this is your square. I am telling you that this is just a general diagram. I'll just redraw it again in fact. This is a circle. And let's draw a square inside it. Okay. I hate my life, boys. Okay. Let's hope it works this time. Barely did. Okay. So basically, you will be given something like this. X square, a circle of a bada sa. Uske andar aapko logo x square de de jayega. Sahi? You will be told ke the area of the square is 2. Area of square is equal to 2. So yeah. Okay. Now tell me if the area of the square is 2. So the side length would be square root of 2 or square root of 2. In the square root of 2 times square root of 2, so you 2. Milega, so yeah. Okay. Now I have to find the area of the circle. How can I find it? I need the radius. Now if you notice, if you attach the uh, the connect these two points, you get the diagonal. Now you know how to find this diagonal. But you notice that the diagonal is the diameter of the circle. Now diagonal is the find diagonal. That's why I told you about this stuff. Okay. So diagonal when you find d square is equal to under root of 2 square, which is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, d is equal to, d is equal to 2. So, yeah, diameter of the plus 2 again. So, radius would be, radius would be 1, radius again, area would be pi, you get pi r square. So, the answer would be the area of the bigger circle minus the area of the smaller square. So, yeah, you have to say this shaded area. So, you have to say this shaded area. Okay, so the answer would be the area of the circle is pi and the area of the square is uh, 2. So, your answer is pi minus 2. Okay. Okay, so basically, is we're writing a question. Now comes the hardest question. Okay, hardest question is something like this. You will be given a square. Achha, is square ke andar jo midpoint hote us pe ek aur square draw kiya hota hai. Say hai na? Okay, <coughs> this is a rough diagram. Okay, so if this total side is x, if this total side is x, chunki ye midpoint pe hai, to ye x by two hoga, aur ye bhi x by two hoga. Same goes for here. This is x by two, and this is x by two. Say hai? Okay. Now you notice ke over here, this makes a beautiful right angle triangle. In case of my drawing, it's never beautiful. This makes a beautiful right angle triangle, which the diagonal is D. Say, diagonal is D. You can find it right here as well, X by 2 or D again. Say, you know, so this also is a right angle triangle with side base and perpendicular to be X by 2. This is X by 2. X by 2, X by 2, and the diagonal is D. So D square is equal to X by 2 whole square. X by 2 whole square plus X by 2 of whole square. Okay. X by 2 of whole square. So D square is equal to D square is equal to X square by 4 plus X square by 4. Okay. X square by 4. So D square is equal to 2X square by 4. And D square D square is actually equal to uh, X square by 2. X square divided by 2. Achha. A big both important but notice kare. Ye jo diagonal hai na, ye internal square ka side hai. Ye jo diagonal hai na, ye ab notice kare ye internal square ka side hai. Aur tujhe main d ko khud se hi multiply karunga. Matlab d square, to mujhe internal uh, square ka area dega. You notice ki d square is equal to x square by two. Sahi hai na? Internal square ka area kya hoga? X square by two. Now much more interesting thing. X square is the area of the bigger square. Okay. X square jo hai na, kyunki side length iska x hai, to x multiply x would be x square. Sahi hai? So this means that the area of the inner square is actually half of the area of the outer square. It means the biggest, uh, the bigger square. And trust me, this is a part of, uh, one of your past MCQs. Us map lungo ye given hota hai ki is tarah ka shape diya hota hai aur usme is area ko shade kiya hota hai. So you know ki bigger square se chote square ka area minus karo. So you will get x square minus x square divided by two, and you will get x square minus x square divided by two. You get x square divided by two. So this is the area of the shaded region. Okay. But I'm just going to say it. the thing is that x square by 2 is actually this area as well. So it means that the shaded region is the same as the shaded region. So yeah, 
okay that's it oh there is nothing more for this there is a lot more for this but always be simple it's just like basic formulas uh if you people need any help feel free to contact me okay thank you